Hello, today I'd like to show you a demo of one company and how they're using TaskUp to connect the various tools in their ecosystem into one unified value stream. Here's an overview of the scenario you're about to see. This organization has multiple teams, tools, and personas all working towards building a new airline flight reservation system. Let's take a look at their value stream. First, the PMO office creates a high-level initiative in HPE PPM. This flows to a business analyst in Dimensions RM, who then breaks it into smaller requirements for the development teams to work on. One of these requirements was the HPE ALM octane. The developer realizes that the effort should be worked on by an outsourced development team, so he sends that to the team in JIRA. The other EPIC in HPE ALM octane is worked on and sent to HPE ALM as a requirement, so that the in-house QA team can test it. QA finds a defect and sends it back to engineering to fix. When the EPIC is complete, it's sent to operations using Solutions Business Manager as a change request for early sign-off. Now, let's see what this looks like in TaskUp Integration Hub. Here we are in TaskUp Integration Hub. This is the integration landscape view, and you can see it at a glance, your entire value stream. From HPPPM, you have an initiative, and it flows to Serena Dimensions RM. You can see both the summary and the description here. Now, in Dimensions RM, the business analyst creates a smaller requirement. This is one of them, provide live chat support. This flows to HPE ALM Octane as a feature, and you can see the summary descriptions as well. To be clear, many more fields are flowing, but for sake of brevity, we're only showing a couple here. Now, in Octane, the developer realizes that one of the epics should be completed by an outsourced development team using JIRA. So, the Guarantee Customer Data Secure epic flows to JIRA to be worked on by the other team. For HPE ALM Octane features that are worked on in-house, they are also sent to HPE ALM so that the QA team can test them. Any defects found in HPE ALM are then sent back to HPE ALM Octane for the developers to fix. And finally, when an EPIC in HPE ALM Octane is marked as done, it's sent to the Operations Team and Solutions Business Manager as a change request. Here we are in TaskUp Integration Hub. Let's drill into one of these integrations, the HPE ALM Octane EPICs to Solution Business Manager integration. By clicking on HPE ALM Octane, you can see the integrations it's involved in. I'll click on the, this integration we care about, the HPE ALM Octane EPIC to SBM Change Request integration. Now you can see here we are on the integration configuration page. And you can see that we're integrating HPE ALM Octane EPICs to SBM Change Requests via the EPIC feature, or the feature EPIC model. Now let's take a second to talk about models. Models are a set of fields and values within those fields, and they act as a universal translator and eliminate the need for point-to-point -point integrations. So if I click here, you can see that this is what the feature EPIC model looks like. Each model is customizable, and you create your own model to fit your own needs. And you can see here that going back to the models, we can see here some of the models we have configured in this uh, integration scenario. And again, you can create your own or edit existing ones. So let's go back to the integration. So here, let me check, click on the overview button and you can see some of the various options and levers that you can use to configure each integration. So here you can see this screen is available for each one of the integrations you previously saw. So let me talk about each one of these in turn. To create configure artifact creation flow, Clicking here, you can see that we've set this up so that artifacts flow from HPE ALM Octane into uh, SBM. Uh, if we wanted to set this to be bidirectional creation, we can change it by a click of a button, but for now, we'll just leave it in one direction. Going back to integration overview, we can configure the field flow. This allows you to decide which fields are of importance to you and you want to share between your two different tools. So clicking here, you can see a whole variety of fields uh, that may or may not flow. These are the fields that you see that are available in your specific model. In this case, the feature epic model. You can also see that you have some various controls for each of these fields, whether it updates normally, updates every single time, only on artifact creation, or doesn't update at all. Again, each of these is configurable to you and your integration. Back to the integration overview. We have routing. So routing allows you to set up from which project in HPE ALM, correction, HPE ALM Octane, uh, into uh, to SBM. So if you have multiple projects, you want to route your artifacts between uh, the correct projects uh, as well. 
Uh, one of the most impressive features of Task Up Integration Hub is the ability to filter your artifacts. So clicking in here to create filters, you can see in this scenario that only the epics from HPE and Octane, where status is equal to done, will flow to SBM. Uh, if the status is not set to done, it will not flow. Creating filters is quite straightforward and simple. Uh, if we wanted to add another uh, statement, you could say, and I want things, let's say, only things that are created after the beginning of September 2017. So I'd come here to select the created field, add only equal to or after September 1st of 2017. That means if an artifact was created prior to uh, September 1st of 2017, regardless of the status, it would not flow. Uh, changing this back is quite straightforward as well. Back to the integration overview. Uh, another feature which is quite useful is allowing uh, individuals to comment on artifacts back and forth. So to create comment flow, it's quite straightforward as simply a check of the buttons on uh, to disable or enable comment flow. TaskUp has a lot of smarts behind the scenes to make sure that the right fields are updated with the right comments. Finally, the other piece which is quite important is allowing uh, attachment flow. Uh, what this allows you to do is attachments on one artifact flow to the other side and again it's simply a matter of two checkboxes. And finally, uh, conflict resolution allows you to decide which side uh, overrides in case uh, there's a conflict between artifacts. Uh, this is quite useful to make sure you, you have the, the right source of truth uh, across all of your integrations. So you can see this is the, all the levers and configurations you have for this specific integration. Coming back to the landscape uh, integration landscape view, you can see we talked about one. You set the same thing up for all uh, five of these uh, integrations you have here. And with that, you can see how TaskTop Integration Hub allows the value stream uh, visibility and automation across all the tools in your ecosystem. For more information, please go to www.testhop.com.